During a recent week of prayer, students at an Adventist Academy in the USA to Maryland had an unforgettable experience. Here is their story. Just over 60 miles from Washington, D.C. in the town of Hagerstown is the Highland View Academy. The name itself explains the nature of the place. The school is surrounded by mountains and woods. The Highland View Academy is part of the Adventist education established in 1853 in New York. Currently, there are Adventist schools in nearly 150 countries with 85,000 teachers, 1,500,000 students, and 7,500 schools. Founded in 1949, the Highland View Academy operates entirely on solar energy produced on the campus itself. But undoubtedly, this is not the main characteristic of HVA. The very purpose of the boarding school is to save. For this reason, the Institute organizes special moments of communion, prayer, and study of the Bible. One such occasion was the Hope Week led by Pastor Andrew Ashley. The week was a watershed in the history of the educational institution. Many young people gave their hearts to Christ and were baptized. Young people like Reagan McCain. She was in charge of writing an article about the week of prayer. Here is a story in her own words. When Pastor Schuster asked me to do this article, I didn't know what to expect. I guess he knew I liked writing and I did like writing, um, but I don't know if I was ready for anyone besides my English teacher <laughs> to see my articles or my writing. Um, but I accepted because, you know, Pastor Caesar asked me nicely and I figured this is a good opportunity, right? Um, I remember at the end of our conversation, he spoke some pretty uh, now prophetic <laughs> sentences. He uh, essentially said, you know, maybe while you're writing this story, maybe this becomes your story. Um, and it ended up to be more true than I thought at the time. So yeah, I started going to the meetings. Uh, Pastor Andrew was great. He was really into the service. And um, yeah, he, <laughs> he talked very well. And he, um, what he really liked to do was like pick a story in the Bible and, and kind of explain it and uh, put it in kind of terms, maybe story, kind of like the lesson, but also like the theology in it and um, how it can personally apply to us and us understanding, you know, God and our relationship with him. Um, and that resonated with me, especially because I had to take notes. <laughs> so I was paying extra attention to the services. When Pastor Andrew Ashley came to our church and he was preaching the messages that he was preaching, we realized that the Holy Spirit was moving. All the students were giving really full attention to what he was saying. And at the middle of the week of prayer, I noticed that Reagan was changing her perspective from a reporter to actually someone who was going to give her life to Jesus Christ. I kind of had enough information. <laughs> I had all the facts I needed. Um, and I didn't have anything. I, I didn't have anything left. I had no reason to not do it. So I went up to uh, Pastor Andrew afterwards and I was asked him like, can you baptize me? Can I get baptized? He was like, yeah, of course, of course you can be baptized. The Week of Hope marks the most baptisms at HVA in decades and has been described as a revival in the school. Therefore, we had probably a Pentecost uh, movement here because 10% of our student body gave their life to Jesus during that week of prayer. Many other students reconsider and reconnected with Jesus Christ. Therefore, I believe that Seventh-day Adventist education and especially boarding schools across the country, we have to take a second look on what we are doing. And I believe that God is still blesses us who are trying to do their best on this uh, institution working with students 24-7 in boarding schools. They are hungry for Jesus Christ. We pay attention on the statistics that says that young people are leaving the church. Well, let's change the statistics. Let's just do something more. And I believe that the Holy Spirit will be working with us as we endeavor together to save kids for the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm.